Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I fucked that up. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Ramil Podcast. Row intro! I wish there was an intro that you could see. Yeah, yeah I, get it, I, get it, I get it. I get it. So we, we improvise. Yeah. What do you mean? We just we just pretend that the intro's playing, but it's not. Right now, yeah, yeah. Then you put it in, in post. Post. Yes. I... Do you do you have you done like radio and stuff before? I mean, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know his beautiful face, that some pepper fox like George. They can't Clooney. see my ganas from there. What's that? They can't see. Why are you talking about my ganas already? I'll on post. I'll like, zoom in. Oh, on post. Yeah. You're gonna zoom in. Listen, dude, this is not my first rodeo. My... <laughs> yeah. Power ninety six Revolution Radio. Uh, started from the bottom. Now you're. Now I'm here. It kind of still and remotely, remotely <laughs> close to the bottom. Mr. JP joins up, us brother? on the Ramil podcast. Thank you, dude. Thank you for having me. That was only right because I did your show. Yeah. On Revolution Radio. You 93.5. did an entire show with us. Pause for airplane. I did do the entire show. You did an entire show with us. I did. Wait, are you leaving that pause for airplane thing in? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Listen, that's it. We're doing this. We're doing this. JP with the Nino Bueno haircut. You look, you look fantastic, man. We I call this the dad do. So you got the except you for the it, Puerto yeah. Rican part right there. Okay, I call that the Puerto Rican. So part. our Puerto Rican. Is that We're an insult? About, no, no, no. I no. love my Puerto Rican people. Okay, all right, Jose. Stop. No, stop. I don't know. You're I, 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 I know how you feel about Jews. I just got here. Oh damn. Yo, good da. Edit. Uh, JP, listen. We met about a year ago. Yes. On inside the sewing room, I used right. to listen to you uh, as a little uh, as a, a little, little lad. Now he's gonna start making me feel old. I'm not that old. Um, I was in first grade. Shut huh? up! Shut up! What's that? <laughs> when I first heard about first you, first grade, uh, it was it was Legos, pods, uh-huh. and JP. Uh, Atari that, or you know, you're, you're, no, you're older from me. Yeah. No, I grew up with uh, Sega. Okay. How old are you? Do you mind? You're Come in your thirties. You're in your late thirties, mid thirties, mid thirties. How old do you think I am? We had the same drama teacher. You know how old I am. Just we, say it. We had the same say drama. Say it. How which, old by am the I? way, is a vampire because he yes, has Mr. not Yes, Mr. Graff is a vampire. We, I had Mr. Graff and drama in high school in 10th grade. And which in 10th grade, I think I was in 10th grade in 1990. Jesus. Three? <laughs> Every time <laughs> it goes, when you do this, night, I'm like, oh, I wasn't born. <laughs> I'm 41, bro. I'm 41. Okay. okay. All right? Okay. I don't look 41, though, right? No, not at all. How well, old are you? I do look 41. That's yes, a okay. little bit. Little I'm 29. Oh, that's right. You told me. You're a jit, bro. Yeah. You're very young. Yeah. So I do believe you were one. <laughs> it was a little one. <laughs> yeah, but we had the same drama teacher. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So uh, shout out to Gary Graff. Yes. That taught us. Mr. Graff. I, uh, for putting up with us. <laughs> drama. That was not facile. Was drama class a little too dramatic for you? No, I loved it. For I real? loved it, yeah. I wish I would have taken it since, uh, since I was in... Uh, my freshman year. Yeah. But I, I didn't even think about it. And then I kind of stumbled into it mm-hmm. uh, my sophomore year. And I just, I loved it. Loved it, man. I wrote like two plays yeah. that got uh, picked. You know, I would say, you know, write for whatever, senior assembly. Mm-hmm. Write a couple of plays. And then That's, mine always got did picked. Did you get into drama like I did, hoping that you're like, people would be like, that guy kind of looks like Johnny Depp. Uh, no, well, and that and he less, like- the least amount of work possible. <laughs> Oh, well, I actually, I had, I... Because what, what kind of homework can you get for drama? Well, that's not true, but re- memorizing fucking monologues and all that shit. That is, that is homework. Bitch. But I'm, uh, it's easy for me. I, I love that stuff. Mem- I just, re- yeah, 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 I got a good memory. horrible fucking memory. Yeah, that's tough. Do, does anybody ever come up to you and like, hey, Jay, hey, and you're like... I, two seconds is, for, I forgot it. Me too. I shake your hand, you tell me your name, I turn around. So I learned it's gone. something. It's gone, it's gone. Like from these mob movies and shit like that, what they do is when they say their name, like, hey, JP, I'm Mario... They shake your hand, look at you, and go, Mario? They repeat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario, is it? And so, like, it does something. That's not just in mob movies, by the way. That's just the thing that people do. This is my fucking podcast. <laughs> and you don't talk to me like that on my own fucking podcast. But what is that? You know what? That's, we're self-absorbed. I think that's what it is. Why? That we Because we don't even because care about anybody else's fuck. name. Right, right, right. Just like you talking right now. I don't give a shit. Right. I just, I'm what waiting. I'm can you shut the fuck up so I can say what I want to say? Uh, real quick, JP. Uh-huh. This is brought to you by... The Yelding Sea. We got sponsors, bro. Have you ever have you ever had uh, the no. Yelding Sea? Can you try that? I feel like I feel like this is a prank. No, no, try it. Shake it up. Really good. 
What is this, bro? Don't you're not pranking me, right? Have you ever had breast milk? Is this the it's thing that I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I read you an gotta, article on that, no, right? No, for real. I swear to God, no, there's no, a no. company that's gonna start making breast milk for oh, adults. You, you did say you said that on the radio. Yes, it's disgusting. Is this it? Try it. I like so, dude. Is this really titty milk? First of all, the fact that you're so willing it didn't to try crack. Titty milk. I can't. T- I'm not would you would you be able to detect <laughs> tit milk if you smelled it? It smells like. Is nipple. that what you did? It that? smells like a nipple. <laughs> Fucking try it, dude. Are you sure? okay? Listen, it's our sponsor, the Yielding Seed. Have you ever had the Yielding, yielding seed? seed? No, I've never had it. Well, what is it though? Fantastic food, right? They give it. They 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 deliver it to your house. Uh-huh. Juices, healthy stuff, okay. cleansing stuff, and uh, I've been with them now for a month. Yeah. And they uh they help out here at the show, and that's one of their uh, cleansing juices. Okay, let me try it. I actually, I love that one. Right, you taste yeah, a little bit good. of the yeah, right. It has cinnamon. A cinnamon. It has a little cinnamon. Stuff I taste that. Yeah, that's so, good. Actually, that's how much I fucking like you, because that is my favorite juice from theirs. Well, and I give it. To this you. is the last one. Yeah, get a cup. We sure. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, but I'm you got little... your uh, lecher on the side of there. Okay, disrespectful. This is protein, the opposite. How many because calories? Because I'm trying to is that? beef up. That's eight thousand Dis- calories. Disregard the calories, because I'm going to the gym. I'm bettering myself. Who am I to talk about calories? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I'm glad Revolution's doing so great. Yeah, man. Uh, I got my, my morning show on Revolution Radio, 935 from 7. We well, should be 6 to 10, but we changed it 7 to 11 so I can get an extra hour of sleep. Because getting up at 3 a.m. is for the birds, but I still get up at like 3.30 anyway. Because so. you decided to go live in fucking Funny Farm. I don't live that far, dude. I live in West Palm Beach. Okay, stop it. I used to live in Miami. Now I live in West Palm Beach. It's not that far. The radio station's in Winwood. It's in Winwood. Oh, it's okay. But in the morning, it's about an hour, an hour drive. In the afternoon, a little longer, especially when I got to sit here and podcast with you. Today, I won't get home. You don't have to do shit, Today. bitch. <laughs> you willingly. We sign consent now. Consent Today, I won't get it. home till 8 o'clock. Listen. No, but I got I got a nice place in um in the acreage. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I've been burping since I got Gino's here. Gino's been doing that I'm shit. I'm sorry. I do this podcast in my bedroom. <laughs> so when Kristen gets home, she said, why does it smell like fish? Whopper. I had a whopper. Ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice uh like horse town, and I got... Like a small little farm, and my girls get to be raised out there, farm life. You know, it's great. You should bring your daughter. Uh, yeah, she she really likes uh, pigs and all that shit. That kid's going to be a star, by the way. You think so? Yes. Like her father. Very saying, funny young lady. Saying, like, thank you, like her father. <laughs> Just include that. Can you include that? Let the girl have her praise, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, she's uh she's crazy, man. Yeah. She uh, We we FaceTimed last night. And That's you're right. And you're uh, with your lovely wife. Yeah, and I asked her a question. What did I ask her? You asked my daughter a question? Yes. Do you forgot already? Do you smoke? I was drunk. Bro, you have a terrible memory. I was buzzed, dude. You think so, I FaceTime you sober? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little weird. I'm yeah. like, why is this guy FaceTiming <laughs> me right now? Yeah, no, you asked her, who, uh, who do you love more? Who's your favorite? I asked uh, Kaylee, who's your favorite parent? Well, first I asked, is your daughter, what's your daughter's name? Kaylee? He got offended. Like a little... I know both. I know this whole guy's fucking family. I know reasons why he has tattoos. Can't memorize one. What's, I have my, one kid. Da- what's my daughter's name? He has two. What's my daughter's name? Vienna. Uh huh. And Susanna. <laughs> you fucking crazy. I memorize. Listen, that's listen. But at it's least not, I got it's one. It's Vienna and Aria, but at least you got one right. That's good. I got one. You didn't even get. I only got one. But you know why? That's a hundred percent. Because your chance. wife told you last night. That's not true. Yes, I heard no, it. No, that's not true. I heard it. Ladies and gentlemen, what's that? I just saw a star is born. Have you seen it? Mm-mm. You haven't seen it. No song interest. Song? Why? I don't know. Every time I hear the song, it's annoying. Tell me something. Oh. Babe. I don't know. I just can't take. I can't take Bradley Cooper seriously. That's the guy. That's the guy oh, from. Do you need more? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it just it, the song is kind of cheesy to me. Why? You gotta see and the movie first of all. Yeah, I guess I got. I'll check it out. <coughs> Bradley Cooper is a phenomenal actor. Did you pay for that? To watch it? It's like two bucks. He got radio money. Stop it. <laughs> fuck, oh, I can't fucking do that. Amazon Prime. Oh, we Amazon Primed it. And um, I, 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 fa- I Instagrammed it, and I was telling people I was watching it. Everybody fucking messaging me, telling me mi- mixed reviews, but right. for the most part, everybody was like, it was a great movie. I cried. Brace yourself for the end. Thank you for not fucking ruining the end for me. What happens at the end? Are Lady you watching Gaga. Game of Thrones? Lady Gaga overdoses, huh? Shut up. Yeah, yeah, on a piano. You just ruined it for everybody? <coughs> Bradley Cooper. I know you, you, you're you going in with like a like a preconceived thing. Good performance. Great performance. Lady Gaga, even better. Yeah, but he's an amazing, he's a great actor. 
but Lady Gaga is really not an actress. Right, right, right. Phenomenal. Right. I could see the chemistry that everybody talks about that they have, quote unquote. It seems like a bore fest. Why? I don't know. You don't like those? Uh, I I'll, I'll dig a, a love story every now and again. It it, it it's such a real. Uh, uh, um, Tristan's cousin was talking to me yesterday about it. He's like, "Oh, who's Tristan?" Kristen, my girl. Oh. <laughs> you don't know my fucking girl's no- name either? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I think for the for the fans, you should preface it by saying, what happened? They know. They know, man. You're the only one that doesn't know fucking any of my family members. Yeah, but, but the way to do it in this world yeah. is no, to no, say, no. No, listen, Kristen, no. my wife. No, but see, that that's how you develop my a, wife. Co- a cult-like following. Uh. You give them names. So that they later on tie together and they feel closer to you. It's all psychological. So here's the thing. He, uh, so so Kristen's cousin was telling me about Walk the Line. Have you seen it with Johnny Cash? I have not seen that Not either. with Johnny Cash. With Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen that either. Good fucking movie. Yeah. But it's a movie. This one seemed like a documentary. It deals with, with like mental issues. Like he's an alcoholic. Mental health and all that. Yeah, he's, a, he's an alcoholic. He's a pill popper. <coughs> Lady Gaga is a... Uh, Lady Gaga works at like a... She works at, I don't know where the fuck she works, but... Um, Forever 21. Let's say Forever 21 in, in Westland, <laughs> and, uh, which they just opened. Sucks, by the way. Um, and she um, she goes, after work, she goes to like this like cabaret, like this um, gay bar, what is it, like a drag show. Uh-huh. She does like drag show, and she goes on and sings. Bradley's leaving a show, and he wants a fucking drink, so he goes, oh, pull over the nearest bar. <laughs> and so he goes into this bar and it's a bunch of dudes <laughs> with tits and but he just sits at the bar and he's drinking and Lady Gaga comes out and starts singing. <coughs> he's drunk as fuck, but he's like he's like, God damn. Like That man could sing. That, that dude could <laughs> sing. So So you can tell he's a little like questioning, right? And she comes around, whatever, and her friend from work is there next to Bradley. And she comes over to the bar and she like kind of like she has a rose and she bends over backwards and gives it to her friend. But while she does that, she looks over and boom, she lands on Bradley. And Bradley's a famous country singer, Jackson Maine, in the movie. And I guess she notices. And then from there on, they you know they meet backstage. She likes him, he likes her, and they start dating. Whatever. But yeah, man, it, it just documents like how bad fucking alcohol is for you, bro. Like, can I get those two minutes of my life back? <laughs> I didn't say shit. Siskel and Ebert have said less. I didn't say about shit movies. When you went down your fucking drama class and how you felt in it. Oh Over- shit! O- eh, 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 eh. Overall, <laughs> overall, if you want to watch the movie, oh shit, watch it. I think it's a good fucking movie. I think it has a. Why good Why do we have story. to watch? You just told us the whole fucking. Movie. I told you the beginning, you <laughs> asshole. <coughs> yeah, I'm still sick. Yeah, good movie. Good movie. So if if you want to watch it. Definitely check it out. I'll check it out, and next time I'm on, I'll tell you how, what, what I thought. Check about it, it out because it's a great performance. And tell me if you fucking cried at the end. Me and Chris, you and, cried. We hugged each other in bed, yeah, and we cried. That's awesome. Because because uh, because of the message behind it too. Watch it. Watch the yeah. fucking movie, bro. <laughs> Stop judging me. Uh, sorry, I, I'm very gassy. Yeah, <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> Does your girl complain about Ooh. that or no? Do you fart a lot? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. But they haven't been. Uh, I don't know. If I want to, I, they haven't been as smelly lately, and I'm kind of disappointed by that because I like to. Yeah, you, you know. Like to, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna cut one, sure. you want people around you to go. You what? The? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm with it, you. What's the waste of me lifting my leg <laughs> and then? Want, yeah, yeah. And it's then all, it's like, and I, I like to back up into it a little bit. You want the chemtrails? You know? Yeah. Sorry. So I asked people. <laughs> <laughs> go right into it. So I asked you guys on the last podcast what it was you wanted to talk about on this podcast, and uh, some people wrote in JP. This comes from Sirius underscore Owl sixteen. She Change says, that name. Sirius Owl sixteen. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She says quitting your job to pursue your passion instead. What do you? What do we think about that? Quitting your job. I assume she's talking to me. Yeah. Unless you you also quit your job and pursued your passion, didn't you? Yeah. Um. What were you doing before radio? I was an aviation mechanic. <laughs> Why do you laugh at that? <laughs> How many <laughs> souls have you lost? That's weird. No, no, actually, it's funny you say that because I was very worried about, like, I, I used to fix, like, the actual, I started as a, a helper, like, just fixing cylindros and stuff. These are old <laughs> engines, like, radio, yeah. cylindro, bro. Cylindro, you throw it in Cylinders. And I ended up, like, building an entire, like, the power sections of these engines, and luckily no one died, so. 
But yeah, I left that. I know I didn't want to do <laughs> I mean, that, bro. Luckily. My you knuckles tr- were all bloody and just it's horrible. Like, fuck this shit. I got to go express yeah. myself on radio. And you, what, you used to work at... Uh, I used to work at the state attorney's office five years. Ugh. What were you, one of those people that Shout go... Shout out go, to the state. That go around and, and, like, serve people with papers? No, I was in a... Uh, Emilio Estevez? <laughs> you've been served. Charlie Sheen? <laughs> no, I wasn't a, a process server. I was a... Uh, Where did that name come from? Was a process Estevez. server? No, Emilio Estevez. I don't know why. Just, I don't know. Did he, just he do something to you? <laughs> Why do you hold like a grudge with Emilio? I Emilio, I haven't seen him. Nah, I worked for the state. I last the last thing I did at the state was I was proce- I was processing paperwork for domestic violence. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Talk about like dead end. Like when you think about a dead end job. Oh, did you? Were you in a cubicle? I, dude, I was in a half a fucking cubicle. Oh. They didn't even give me a full fuck where I could jerk off oh. peacefully. If I like, I come back There's from break, like jerking off in a cubicle. Come on, dude. A full cubicle. <laughs> A full one. Well, yeah, I had a half fucking cubicle. They didn't even give me that shit. And I had to sit there and fucking do all this bullshit. Pay. I had this late. I literally told my my last boss. I had my headphones on, right? I always listen to TED talks and shit like that mm-hmm. to try to expand my fucking. And she comes up to me, and I always did that at the state. Every every fucking office I was in, I would do that. This bitch just didn't really fucking enjoy me. I guess uh, the presence. And she came and she goes, "You have to take out the." Hmm. And I was like, "What? What are you talking about?" And she's like, the headphones. And I was like, so I took off this one and I left this one. And I thought, right, maybe she is visible. So if yeah, a fucking yeah. lawyer or whatever comes in. So I took this one off. The next day she's walking by and I have this one off and through the shirt and, uh-huh. and I got this one on. And she sees me and she comes up to me. And she goes, I thought I told you you have to take out the headphones. Uh-huh. You can't be listening to music. And I go, dude, my, you know when fucking yeah, you yeah, just yeah, yeah. from your balls to your fucking and just she your the supervisor? She was off. She was my supervisor. And I go, oh, that's good. I, I, I'm not listening to music. She goes, you're not? I go, no, I'm listening to TED Talks on how not to kill yourself at a shitty job. <laughs> I swear to God. I, I, right I swear to I was, I was gone the next week. <laughs> I swear to God. From that moment on, I was in the office every other fucking day. My absence, some paperwork, some number I didn't do. But at the end of the day, dude, dead fucking end job. So yeah, it was it, what it did for me, it gave me perspective on what not to go back to. Yeah. So, even if you fail at whatever the fuck, and I think Jim Carrey says this, he goes, you could fail at doing something you don't even like. So, might as well go and try to fucking do what you love. You should always pursue your passion. <coughs> I, always. I think the root of all depression and all negative it's emotions. Nine to five the, jobs. Nine to five. It's, it's doing what you're not, what, not fulfilling your purpose. Yeah. Even, dude, as, as silly but as a, life gets in the way. And 100%. people are afraid and they're scared, and I understand. But anything is possible. We have Brian Breach on the show. He's, a, mm-hmm. he's on one of, He did a TED yeah. Talk, and he's very motivational. He said he believes that anything is possible, and I agree with him. Anything is possible. What the mind could conceive. Yeah, it, it, it is. As long as, dude, Arnold Schwarzenegger became First of all, that mayor. fucking name just gave me herpes. Right? <laughs> Top actor. Yeah. American actor. Dude, his last name is Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the number one thing that would probably tell any one of us is change your fucking name. That's right. Right? He said, yo, fuck you. Uh-huh. Kept going. Number one paid, highest paid fucking actor. Mr. Olympia, I don't know how many fucking times. Then he said, oh. in, in fact, in Pumping Iron, he goes, I think I want to go into movies. Yeah. Went into movies, became the highest paid actor. Then, held the fuck. Yeah, now you got your timeline right. It no, was, I got it. Yeah, it was the other way around. Yeah. Right, he didn't do that. All right, JP, <laughs> I got it. Did that really fuck? Did that fuck you up? You didn't know where I was yeah, going I was with like, that? He's going back. He's going. He became you're governor. You're like Quentin Tarantino. At, 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 you're ex- Quentin Tarantino. Now you fucking got it, bud. You fucking got it. But I got a story for you. Wasn't it more exciting that way? It was. It was. It was. It got me thinking. Uh huh. Um, yesterday. Fucking saying God did what? Actually, it was Saturday. Uh huh. Saturday we went. Um, it was me and the wife, uh, mother-in-law, stay with the kids. And we st- we Wait, just so happened to stop. Dismissive about mother-in-law. Yeah, no, I love mother-in-law. Okay. I have the best mother-in-law in the world. So stop it. I love her. She may love me more than she loves her own daughter. Really? Don't tell my wife that. Um, yeah, she's not gonna watch. So <laughs> I uh, I went with the wife. You know, we went out, did a couple things, and then we stopped. We were hungry. We stopped at Burger King because you know I like to eat healthy. And <laughs> she <laughs> she goes to the bathroom. Nobody wants to live forever. And right, who cares? Uh, she goes to the bathroom. I grab our food, you know, and I go and I sit down and I put our food down and I get up and I go to get ketchup and, you know, napkins and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And when I come back to the table, there's a fucking guy sitting there eating our food. <laughs> nah, dude. He's eating our food. 
And I look, I but did wait, like where, a, where was the family? Where was your... No, 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 it was just me and the wife. My wife's in the bathroom. You went... And I went, got the food, and I put it at the table. When you came And back... I went to get, like, napkins and stuff. Are you following the story? I like and to then... break it down in a Quentin type of way. I go from the beginning, how do you look? So did like, the guy look homeless? Yeah, no, like, regular looking dude. So that's why I stood, I stood over the table and looking at him, and I'm like, did, am I at the wrong... <laughs> you thought you were... Am the... I at the wrong table? <laughs> and I look at him, and I go, all right. So I go up to him, and I go, I go what are you doing? And he goes, what do you mean, what am I doing? I go, you're eating our food. That's my food. He goes, no. It doesn't have your name on it. No, he did not, dude. No, he didn't. No, stop. Bro, stop. I'm not a tough guy. Stop, because at this moment, you got you got to face the fact that you're going to have to fight the I'm not a tough guy, but I was going to swing on this guy. My wife has come out of the bathroom already. She's the commotion. She's like, what's going on? I go, look, this guy's eating our food. So she's like, go talk to the manager. You know, let's not no, let's not it, cause a scene. Stop it. Hold on. So she didn't want to do it. I'm with the wife. I can't just fight a guy. Of so, course you no, could. No, I, I go and I, I call the manager over and I go, look, I'm heated. I go, here's my receipt. Young guy? Yeah. I, here's my receipt. Eh, mid-30s. I just paid for this. There's a guy sitting right there. <laughs> See that guy right there? He's eating our food. He goes, get the fuck out of here. So he goes, hold on. He walks around. And then the manager's like, you didn't punch him in the no. fucking face? <laughs> and he comes back. And he goes, look, he's obviously... Out of Crazy. Yeah. So here's your money back. It's on me. Don't <laughs> he worry went, about it. Assessed it Here, here's, your, yeah, here's your food. Here's your food. Do you want it to go? I said, no. We were going to eat here. The plan was to eat here. I'm not going anywhere. Right. My wife's like, no, let's get it to go. I don't want any problems. I go, no. We're not leaving. Yeah, yeah. We ain't fucking leaving. You didn't let me. We ain't fucking leaving. We ain't fucking leaving. Yeah. So we get the food and I sit like across from the guy. And he's there, bro, <laughs> eating my the, my burgers, <laughs> drinking out of both drinks. La di da di da. Loving life, loving life. He had a briefcase with him, so he gets up. Oh no! Listen, oh, oh my no. god! That's Sorry. how you. That's how, that's how you had to start the story. He gets by the way. up. Hold on to throw my food away. At least he had the common decency to throw the food. Jesus Christ! I'm hitting that's everything here. To throw, <laughs> he gets up to throw the food away. So I get up, and my wife's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" I go, "Hold on." Because it didn't sit I, well with dude, you. Dude, I grabbed this briefcase. No, no, you didn't. And I put it on this side of me, inside the booth. He comes back looking for his briefcase. Doesn't see it. I make sure he knows that I have it. He walks up to the table. And I'm like, he goes, what are you doing? I go, what do you mean? What am I doing? He goes, that's my briefcase. I said, this is good. it doesn't have your name on it. This is good. I swear <laughs> to God, I took the fucking briefcase. It's in my car right now. Que te pasa? This is good. This is good. I'm gonna go ahead and say it for the audience. What was in the briefcase? All the bullshit I just fed you. <laughs> this is good. This is good. How long hey, have you, how, how long have you been touring hey, that joke? Did you catch on? How now? long have you been touring that fucking joke, Bartum and Wait, fucking Bailey? You, you <laughs> how long have you been touring that shit? <laughs> JP will be in the city near you with his fucking... That's a fucking great story. God damn, he dude. He fell for it until the end. Bitch, you told me that <laughs> shit like six... Every time we meet, you told me that oh, story. Oh, that's right. God damn, yo, <laughs> dumb ass. The briefcase. By the way, I will tell you, I didn't know until you said the briefcase. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. He done did it again. He did, did it again. Yeah, you fucking when? Yeah. I don't know. In one of these random fucking days no, that we talked... Yes, no, dude. 110. No. How did I, I know that? I no, you uh, told me. But thank you for telling. And for you laugh oh, as hard <laughs> every time. <laughs> you fucking psychopath. Uh, it's it's dot aj dot arts says Cafe Guano versus American Coffee. Oh, come on. That's easy. Cafe Guano. Yeah. Come on. What are you doing? Fuck come on, bro. AJ? Cafe, I think uh, Cafe Americano is basically fucking dirty uh, water. Uh, yeah. Underscore Natty underscore Amor. She says, food combinations. Some people like... But others think it's garbage. But actually try them. Chicken and waffles. Don't give a fuck. Fantastic. Fuck. Don't give a fuck. Fantastic. Now they have waffles or you have chicken. What nah, you but you like? get, it's the sweetness <coughs> and, the, and this, you know. Have you ever like, had Kush? Kush the, over the there in Winwin? Right, right oh. by fucking, no, you pothead. <laughs> the weed? Hold on. Why are you using <laughs> technical terms? That sounded so the old. Weed? <laughs> have you ever had a joint? <laughs> you ever like, had some grass? You've you ever had smoked some grass? Fucking, that's what that devil that is. Uh, Kush is a little spot in the uh, in corner of a. Uh, I don't think I've been there, but I've heard of it. It's dope. Yeah. It's dope. They have sh- combinations yeah. like that. They'll have like guava cheese, fried egg. Oh, <laughs> they have that at fa- uh, Pincho Factory has a, a, a fantastic uh, pastelito guayaba burger. 
Don't plug them too hard. They're not a sponsor. Oof. Oh, sorry. Sponsor. Rewind that. <laughs> Rewind that. That also fucking shows our how fucking old we are. <laughs> Kids are like, re what? Re what? Have you seen that video of the millennials trying to call on the rotary? Is phone? it a millennial? Because you're you're a fucking idiot if you don't, if you can't fucking. No, but they don't know. How would they know? What's the age but bracket know, for a millennial? Uh, I think it's because late eighties. It, <coughs> right, like, like mid mid. You're a millennial too, I think. Yes. What year were you born? Eighty nine. I don't know. We you're, have to look you're like, God, that. Google that. Age? All right. All right. We'll, we'll look it up right now. What are you then? Uh, I am. <laughs> Millennials, also known as Generation Y or Gen Y, uh-huh. are the demographic cohort following. Uh, researchers. Uh, researchers and popular media typically use the early 1980s as starting birth years and the mid 1990s to early 2000 as ending birth years. So can, then, <coughs> from the 1980s, you're a millennial. The research is part, it says uh, early as 1980s to early 2000s. Okay, so you're a millennial. 89. My wife's a millennial. I'm not me. I was born in 78. What is that? I think that's the... Uh, fucking Biogo. I think you're Generation <laughs> Biogo. <laughs> uh, no. Generation you, Kana. <laughs> <and cool. laughs> generation Kana. You're Generation X, bro. Yeah? You're from the um, experts... Who's an expert in this? Like experts? No, it says the perimeters that make up Generation X, which is you, range from 1965 to 1984. Okay, there you go. So you're Generation X. And then Generation Holio, because Fucking horrible, dude. No, but listen, you got you got to cut them some slack. We know how to use the rotary phone because our parents taught us. Well, we didn't have a, ro- a rotary. I had a rotary phone. You had one growing Hell up? Yeah. I didn't have that shit. <laughs> Fucking old pass. Rich folks. Okay, this is coming from Malvis underscore Vin says when people buy alcohol for a party and then take it back on their way out, rude or not? That's super ecoria. You're a fucking. Well, first of all, bless you. I don't. I don't know what that word was. <laughs> Second, I don't know who you just put a spell on, but ecoria. If you're listening, run. Bro, you don't know what ecoria <laughs> means. Ecoria is like you Ecoa? know. Head gente baja, like gente de zona. <laughs> like, huh? No, I don't know what the fuck that means, dude. You do not, not even like if the bottle no. wasn't touched, you don't right. you don't take no. it. No, you just it's just that goes along with anything you bring to any party. Right. Oh, a friend of mine was telling me he's a lawyer, and one of his like rich lawyer friends brought over cigars, a box of cigars. That's it. Leave the fucking box. He took it back with he him. He passed out. Like two or three people got. <coughs> it wasn't a full box. It had maybe ten. Two or three people took. The rest were there. Took the box. Fucking lawyer. That guy will never come to my house again. No, that's it. You're done. Rude. <laughs> fucking rude. You're a piece of shit. Even, <laughs> even, you're right. Even if the bottle, even if it was an expensive bottle, no one touched the fucking bottle. You leave it. Go fucking home and buy another bottle. That's right. You're a piece of shit. I you want, I'm going to drink that. that over at a common courtesy because you're being invited to someone's home. That's like if you bring food. Yeah. What are you going to do? You're going to fucking take your food back? No. You're going to take your macaroni See, and we cheese all know, back? We all know someone that's done that. I have a friend. I have a friend that will bring over liquor that he already drank. already fucking drank <laughs> from. That's so ghetto. When everybody's bring, yo, that's so ghetto. Yo, well, hold on. If that's a, if it's a close friend, cool. No, like if it's if, a party. If it's a party, I don't give a fuck if you're my brother. Buy alcohol <laughs> and bring it over, you cheap bitch. Uh, How often do you make love to your wife? Ah, uh, not as often as I like. We're tired a lot, you know. Love, yeah. <laughs> like where you hold her close. Love, like and that. You kiss her neck. It's not even like all the time. You know, all the time, every oh. night, every night we cuddle. Does, no, she, I, I don't does like she? Does she know about this? <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing is that. Are you romantic? Jake? She. Oh, I try to be. What's the most? What romantic? does that mean? What does that mean? Does she go like this <gasps> when you fucking show her something? Well, yeah. Your packer. You like spontaneity. Mm-hmm. So you bought a farm. So, I bought a farm. So every day is like, I want to do something. It's like, bitch, I just bought a fucking duck. When I proposed to her, she had no idea because I don't believe in marriage and I did it just because I love her. That is so fucking super, yeah. super whack. <laughs> Why would you do that shit? That was dumb. That was a dumb move. I don't believe in marriage, but whatever. I'm, you know, and plus yeah. I do love, I do love my girl. I do love her. Uh, listen, you don't try to convince me. I believe you. I love her. I, I love you too. I love you too. And I love the fact that you did this, JP. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you? No. Okay. Um, anything you want to plug, buddy? Uh, just uh, the show. Check out the show Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mario will be on uh, soon. That was fun. Yeah. I-, I had fun at Revolution, man. It's not a... It's very loose there. 
You it go feels in. like home, man. It's it's in the uh, it's in Winwood, you know, badass uh, high rise. The, your catch thing, your catchphrase thing is from the tallest, the tallest building, building in Winwood. <laughs> what happens when someone goes an inch over yeah. in a building? Is, it used to be the tallest building in Winwood. The second tallest, the second tallest building, tallest building, building in, Winwood. in Winwood. Revolution Radio. <laughs> so yeah, man, JP. Thank you for having me, bro. Thank you for fucking coming, buddy. Follow me on Instagram. You're gonna, he's gonna put it up right here. Go, right there. Bing. Uh huh. And then Facebook, Bing. and then and then right here, Revolution Radio 93.5, Mister J. P in the morning with Naughty Natasha. Natalia. I always say the same shit. Natalia. Stop, I'm man. Sorry. JP, I love you, buddy. Love we got to do this again. Why don't you co-host with me sometime? Let's do it. Yeah? I thought this was what this was. Wasn't this what this was? This was just your introduction. Oh, okay. But then All now right. people are like, I fucking like that guy. All right. And I want to see him more. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But they may not like They you. might not like you. Yeah. You're right. Just be honest.